We begin with a new election firestorm. The Green Party has filed for a recount in the key swing state of Wisconsin. Recounts expected in Michigan and Pennsylvania as well. All three were close. Hillary Clinton's campaign is joining the effort, even though they expect no change in the final results. Donald Trump is railing against that effort, unleashing a Twitter storm on Sunday, alleging millions of people voted illegally without any evidence. And ABC's David Wright is in Madison, Wisconsin, where officials are set to meet today. Good morning to you, David. Good morning, Amy. Donald Trump won this state by less than 1%, fewer than 22,000 votes. So it's possible, but unlikely, that this recount process that begins here today could end up denying him this state. But Trump is complaining loudly about it. Donald Trump always railed against what he called a rigged system. A big part of the rigged system. We call it a rigged system. You know, we're in a rigged system, folks. Now he's blasting the effort to recount the vote in the Rust Belt as a Green Party scam. The people have spoken and the election is over, he said in his first comments about the recount. We must accept this result and then look to the future. The recount effort initially launched by the Green Party is now being joined by the Clinton campaign to ensure the process proceeds in a manner that's fair to all sides. Clinton's lawyer says the campaign has been urged by supporters to, quote, do something, anything, to investigate claims that the election results were hacked, but concedes that the Clinton campaign's own investigators have not uncovered any actionable evidence of hacking or outside attempts to alter the voting technology. Why in the world can't the Democrats, quote, accept the election results? Trump's own Twitter post got more and more heated this weekend. First, he claimed to have won the popular vote if you deduct the millions of people who voted illegally. Then he claimed serious voter fraud in Virginia, New Hampshire, and California. So why isn't the media reporting on this? Serious bias, big problem. In both cases, Trump offered no proof to back up his claims. And ABC found no evidence of widespread fraud. The official tally has Trump trailing Clinton in the popular vote by more than two million. California's Secretary of State called his allegation of voter fraud there absurd, insisting his reckless tweets are inappropriate and unbecoming a president-elect. Again, it's highly unlikely that this recount process is going to change the election results, but it is conceivably possible, especially if you add in Michigan and Pennsylvania. So Donald Trump is calling Hillary Clinton a hypocrite.